The prestigious Invictus Games founded to empower wounded veterans through competitive sports is facing its biggest challenge yet. A mass exodus of over 700 participants, nearly a quarter of all expected athletes, has thrown the upcoming 10th anniversary edition into disarray. Leaked emails reportedly show veterans expressing disappointment with the game's new direction and frustration with Prince Harry's leadership. This development paints a troubling picture of a growing disconnect between the Invictus Games founder and the very community it was designed to serve. The reasons for the resignations are multifaceted. Some veterans reportedly voice concerns about the game's increasing commercialization. Sponsorships and branding deals, while crucial for funding, seem to have overshadowed the original spirit of camaraderie and rehabilitation. Others express disappointment with the new management, which they perceive as less veteran-centric and more focused on celebrity involvement. This frustration extends to Prince Harry himself. While his initial dedication and passion were undeniable, some veterans feel he is no longer as invested in the games. His recent relocation to the United States and focus on private ventures have led to accusations of absentee leadership. Emails reportedly contain comments like, get rid of Harry and Meghan, and the games aren't the same without Harry's passion. These accusations are particularly damaging considering the immense respect and admiration veterans initially held for Prince Harry. His own military service and his empathetic connection to the struggles of wounded warriors were the cornerstones of the Invictus Games' success. Seeing this bond seemingly weaken is a major blow to the game's spirit. The situation is further complicated by rumors of a rift between Prince Harry and the Invictus Games Foundation's board. The board tasked with overseeing the game's operations is said to be concerned about the direction Harry wants to take the event. This reported tension creates a sense of uncertainty and disharmony, further fueling the veterans' anxieties. It's important to acknowledge that the Invictus Games Foundation has vehemently denied any discord with Prince Harry. They maintain that the changes being implemented are necessary to ensure the game's long-term sustainability and global reach. However, the mass resignation of veterans speaks volumes about a perceived disconnect that cannot be ignored. The future of the Invictus Games now hangs in the balance. Can the organizers regain the trust of the veterans? and recapture the original spirit of the event? Can Prince Harry mend fences and re-establish himself as a champion for the veteran community? Only time will tell. However, one thing is certain. The 10th anniversary Invictus Games will be a watershed moment defining whether Prince Harry's legacy will be one of inspiration or lost connection. This controversy surrounding the Invictus Games is not the first time Prince Harry's actions have drawn criticism. His decision to step back from senior royal duties and his subsequent comments about his relationship with the royal family have caused friction. While some admire his courage to forge his own path, others see it as a betrayal of his royal responsibilities. This pattern of divisiveness seems to be following him into his post-royal endeavors. The Invictus Games situation raises questions about Prince Harry's ability to lead effectively and maintain strong relationships with those he seeks to help. It remains to be seen if he can learn from this experience and navigate the complexities of leadership with greater sensitivity and